Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. What's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Matt. You should definitely subscribe down below. So, it's been a few days since I've posted, but my family was here from New Jersey, so I really just wanted to spend some time with them and just take a few days off from filming because I've been filming so much during break. But we are back, and if you watched my What I Got for Christmas video, you would know that I got a new camera, and this is the first time I'm filming with it. And I also have my new ring light behind this, too, so there's a lot of new tech in front of me, and I don't fully know how to use it yet, so bear with me. Anyways, the day that I post this video, it is going to be New Year's Eve, which means it is about to be 2019, which is insane. I feel like 2018 just started, and now it's going to be a whole new year, which is crazy. So today's video is going to be two different parts. The first part is going to be my 2018 highlights, and then the second part is going to be my goals for 2019, because I just feel like it's really good to put your goals out into the universe at the beginning of the year, and then we'll see what happens. Okay, without further ado, let's get into the video. I feel like this happens almost every year, where for the last few weeks of December, everyone's posting about how this past year has sucked and how it was so bad, but honestly, this past year, 2018, was such a good year for me. When I was brainstorming for this video, I thought about everything that I did this year and everything that I accomplished, and honestly, it's kind of insane. The first highlight of 2018 was I was in my first play and my first musical, both of which were such amazing experiences, and I am so happy that theater is becoming a part of my life, and I can't wait to do even more shows this year. The second highlight, a pretty big one, was I came out back in March, and I've talked about this in a bunch of videos, but honestly, the best decision I have ever made. It has changed my life in so many ways, and I could not be happier than where I'm at right now, so definitely a highlight. The third highlight is I did a ton of traveling this year. First trip of the year was in spring break back in March. I went to China, which was such an incredible experience, and it really, really pushed me out of my comfort zone. I never thought I would go to a place like China, so being able to go and have the experience that I did was so crazy. And then in the summer, I spent a week in the vineyard with some of my best friends. And then obviously at the end of the summer, back in August, I went to Italy with my family, which was the most incredible vacation. I vlogged the entire trip, so if you haven't seen those videos, I will link them down below. But I had such a great time with my family, and it was just amazing seeing things that you like have talked about and learned about for so many years. It was the same way for China, like learning about the Great Wall and seeing it for so long, and then actually being there and standing on it was crazy. And and it was the same way seeing the Colosseum and the Amalfi Coast and all those historic places in Italy. It was just crazy seeing them in person, not just in books or pictures. The fourth highlight was the Cape. I spent so much time there during the summer, a lot more than I usually do, and it was so fun. I made some new friends, I connected with old friends, and I spent some quality, quality time at the beach, and it was just another great summer in the Cape, and I cannot wait for summer 2019. I started my YouTube channel, and YouTube has quickly become one of my favorite things. I have so much fun filming videos, and I love sharing my life out on the internet. This was going to be a whole nother highlight, but I guess it really works with this, so I hit a thousand subscribers, which was definitely a big highlight of the year. I hit a thousand back at the end of November, and that was such an exciting night, I will never forget it. The fifth and final highlight of the year is I went to a ton of concerts, and the best part about all the concerts that I went to is that I got to go with some really amazing people in my life. I got to see Charlie Puth with my cousin, I saw Taylor Swift with three of my best friends, Kendall, Kira, and Avery. I got to see Drake with a whole group of friends after we surprised Avery with a ticket for her birthday, which was so fun. And I got to see Bruno Mars back in the fall with Kendall. Kendall and I went to three consecutive concerts together, which is so funny. So that is my 2018 in a nutshell, and I could not be more grateful for all the experiences that I had and all the people that I either met in 2018 or stayed close with in 2018. Okay, so now on to my 2019 goals. I think I said this at the beginning of the video, but I think it's a good idea to put my goals out into the universe and out onto the 
the internet so then I can look back at the end of 2019 and see what I accomplished. So the first goal that I have is to drink at least three hydro flasks full of water every single day. When I drink a lot of water, I just feel way better and my skin is better, everything is better. So that is the first goal. My second goal is to work out at least four times a week because I just feel like when I work out consistently, I feel so much better physically and I also feel so much better about myself. My third goal is to go dairy free for six months. Now this sounds a little bit crazy, but the four weeks that I went dairy free in the summer were literally the best weeks of my life. I never felt better. So I wanna see what happens if I actually stick to a dairy free diet for a while because if I felt that good in four weeks, who knows what could happen in six months. The fourth goal is to hit 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. I just hit 1,300, so we definitely have a long ways to go, but who knows what could happen in a year. My fifth goal is to finally try and find a balance between school and YouTube and social life. I have struggled with this this entire year and I'm really hoping that I can find a balance between all three because it's definitely been super hard. My sixth goal is to clear my skin. Now this ties into drinking more water, working out, and going dairy free because all three of those things I think will definitely help with that so much. But also I just need to stick to a consistent skincare routine and obviously keep taking the medicine and using the cream and stuff that the dermatologist prescribed. But that's definitely a big goal because I really, really hate my skin right now even though it's definitely been clearing up but I really just want to settle that this year. My seventh goal is to stop overthinking. I overthink more than anyone I know and it causes so much unnecessary stress in my life so hopefully we can get rid of that. My next goal is to take more chances. This doesn't mean doing dangerous or risky things. For me it just means doing things that I would typically say no to. Next is to get at least eight hours of sleep every single night because when I have a consistent sleep schedule I feel so good and I can literally do anything but when I get less than eight hours of sleep it is not good. The next goal is to save money. I recently have been spending way, way too much money. So hopefully we can lower that amount a little bit and start saving my money. Saving is always good in the long run. And I know that I'll be way happier saving my money than spending it on the unnecessary things that I'm spending it on now. My next goal is to start being more responsible with family things and friend things and being more responsible with self-care. I just feel like I'm at the age where I can start taking on more responsibilities with my family and with myself too. I am the type of person that puts others before myself. And as much as that is good, it also causes causes a lot of problems for me because I don't focus on myself. So for 2019, I'm going to work on self-improvement and just kind of focus on myself this year. I just want 2019 to be my year, honestly. My next goal is to read at least five books for just pure enjoyment. Books for school do not count. I need to pick out the books and I need to read them just to read them, just to do it for myself. Next is I want to keep my room and my desk consistently organized. I like to do this thing where I wait as long as possible and let those places get as dirty as possible possible before I clean the SD card just ran out of space mid-sentence and I had to go change it out for the one in my other camera so I apologize if the setup's a little bit different but to continue with what I was saying I like to do this thing where I let those two spaces get as dirty as possible before I clean them up but I realized that if I just clean up the small mess that I make every single day then I'm gonna save myself so much time and so much energy than having to clean for hours on end my last goal for 2019 is a little bit random but I need to stop biting my nails. This is a habit that I have had ever since I was little and I have never ever been able to break it. It is such an annoying bad habit and I just really need to get rid of it and 2019 is going to be the year. Okay so that is it for all my 2018 highlights and all my goals for 2019. For anyone that is watching this video leave everything that happened this past year in the past year and make 2019 your year. If you enjoy this make sure to give it a thumbs up down below, subscribe if you haven't and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys!